Hi, I'm Molly Robbins and I'm going to show you how to make a realistic eyeball. And the way I do this is the way that an eyeball would look. So imagine you've got an eye of an animal or um, a human. The eye that you see is the kind of almond shape that you would maybe draw. But if we go back kind of to the anatomy of the eyeball, it's obviously it's round. So the easiest way I find that is to make it round. So I've got a little ball of white here. And this is sugar paste with a little bit of Tylo added to it. You can use modeling paste, whatever you prefer to work with. That's gonna be the base of my eyeball. And actually, it's not far off life size that. I can make myself a glass eye. So I've got that white. This is gonna be the, the white bit. I don't know what the name of the white bit is. We'll call it the white bit for now. And I'm gonna make a brown eye because I've got brown eyes and I just want to, just wanna make a brown eye. So I'm going to use some brown sugar paste. I'm going to make it a bit lighter because I want to add some depth into it. So I'm going to mix my brown. So I've got some of this teddy bear brown and some chocolate brown, which will hopefully make like a quite a nice hazily mid-brown colour. And I'm just going to mix those together. And then I'm going to roll out a little ball and this is going to be the uh, iris. I'm going to flatten it down. To round about, what kind of size would you say that is? It's about a centimetre and a half diameter. And that's going to sit on top of our white bit. And it will sit slightly more projected, but that's how an eye would be really. And then, I'm just going to use my finger. You can use a ball tool for this, but I'm going to use my finger because it's here and it's easy. And I'm just going to make an indent and we're going to put a pupil inside there. Because really the pupil is a hole, isn't it? It's a, it's a hole that lets the light in. So you don't want it to sit on top of that. You want it to be kind of inset. So if you see there, I've just made like a deep. A ball tool would be easier. I haven't got one's hand, but your fingers are just as good sometimes. So then we're going to get some black sugar paste, make another little ball. And this ball is going to sit inside there. I'm going to flatten that down now with my finger, just to make sure it's level with the eye. So if you look at it from the side, you can see it's level. So I flattened that down so it's level with the iris. So we've got the pupil and then the iris there. I always add a little white highlight into the corner of the eye. So all that is is just a tiny little bit of white. It's a tiny little white ball. And already that kind of brings it to life. Like so. I am going to put a little bit of colour on my eye to shade it. So I've got some colour flow, which is liquid. I, it's actually airbrush colour made by Rainbow Dust, but we use it for all sorts of different things. You can, it's just a nice little liquid food colour, really. And I've got some dark brown. And then I'm just going to use a tiny amount, and I'm going to go around the brown bit of my eye. My brush is quite big, but you get the gist. And I'm just going around, around, around. And what this is doing is making the kind of darker and lighter points of the eye. So you can see where I've used this kind of wide brush. I mean, use a tiny brush if you find it easier. It's probably the best way of doing it. but. It's kind of making the little veins and the little coloured parts of the eye stand out a bit better. You can go on the inside as well if you wanted. And it's good to start with a lighter colour and then you can add the darker tone on. So I'm going to show you how to make it 
look a bit more human-like. So this is a human eyeball, obviously, um, because I'm using the flesh colour to make the lid. And it's a good idea as well, if you've got a mirror or anything, to just kind of keep looking at your own eye and see what you see when you look at this eye, when you look through the eye. I'm going to roll out this kind of sausage shape and I'm going to build this around the eye. So if we imagine that that highlight is the top corner, this is going to be our lid. So I'm building that round like so. And obviously if you've got a face, this is going to be easier because you've got something to work on. We're going to lower lid. So if we get a little bit more of the flesh colour, you can really kind of start to build this round now. So I'd say if you're making a face, you want to put the eyes in before you start building the rest of the face around because if you imagine where the skull would be, they'd be quite set deep inside. So I'm building this eyelid around here, just using kind of sausage strips. And again, you don't want the eyeball to be sticking right out, so build your eyelid around it. And remember as well, the eyelid, the shape, is really determined by, it determines the expression. So if your eyelid is closed, it can look kind of sleepy, or if it's very wide open, it can look like surprised. So remember as well, your eye has got kind of creases on it. So again, if you're going to make an aged eye, you put more creases in, more wrinkles. You can do the little thing that's in the corner, little ball. I don't know what that's called, but there it is. I'm going to put a few wrinkles on mine. And then to finish that off, you know, you've got to have a bit of eyeliner on. Because I say so. I think it's a good idea. You want to define the eye a little bit. I'm going to put some black. You could paint this on if you wanted, but this is how I do it. I'm just going to put this little sausagey strip along here. Maybe give her a flick. I quite like that. You can tell I've been looking at my own eye quite a lot because this is how I would do it. So there's your, there's your liner. And then, we'll put a little bit on the bottom. I think brown on the bottom, black is quite heavy as a liner. I sound like I'm doing makeup now instead of an eye. That's going to go underneath. So that will go along there. And then, do some lashes, because why not? Got to have lashes. So the best way of doing lashes, I find, is to use your hand as the kind of tool. So you're rolling out, and when you see there, you've got that natural point. You can pick that up and just apply that onto there. And if you use modeling paste for this, it'll stand up even better. It'll stand up by itself. But I'm literally just sticking them on. Oh, that one doesn't want to play. You see, when you make it um, thicker at the base, it will stand up a bit more freely by itself. You see that? So we're just picking them up and sticking them on. And then you can kind of lift them a bit like that. Rolling. on. Could do some along the bottom as well. And the main thing with the eyes I would say is all about kind of proportion, really important to make sure your eyes are in proportion to the rest of the face. And expression, very important, because it's all about the eyes, really. Make sure the expression's right. If it's not, if it's looking a bit surprised, you know, bring the lid down a little bit. If it's looking 
um, a bit angry. That's all about the eyebrow, so the eyebrow needs to come down a little bit. And um, make sure they're symmetrical as well because you want to make sure they look in both the same way. You don't want one looking one way, one looking the other way. It will just detract people's attention then from the rest of your piece. So, you know, do as many lashes as you want. I'm just doing some in the corner there just to show you. And then you could, you know, if you wanted to, have a bit of an eyebrow on there, on the top. But yeah, I mean, on its own, it looks quite strange, but overall, quite a nice eye effect.